Thomas Loves. This is a rhyming book about fun, friendship, and autism. It's written by Jude Welton and beautifully illustrated by Jane Telford. Thomas loves watching toy trains on the tracks. Thomas loves trains that go out and come back. Thomas loves watching the cars in the street. Thomas loves books that have words that repeat. Thomas loves things that have strange sounding names like thingamabob or flipperty Jane. Thingamabob and flipperty Jane. Thomas will say words again and again. Thingamabob, flipperty Jane, thingamabob, flipperty Jane, thingamabob, flipperty Jane. Thomas loves playing with tiny wee toys. Thomas loves quiet, hates loud, sudden noise. Thomas loves bouncing on big trampolines. He squeals and he giggles. He smiles and he beams. Oh, that looks like fun, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Thomas loves feeding the big, heavy horse. He loves riding as well, being led around the course. Thomas loves eating his rice cakes and honey. He only eats foods that won't hurt his tummy. Thomas feels safe if he knows what will happen. If he's stressed or upset, his hands might start flapping. His mom draws him pictures that plan out each day and show him wins school and wins food and wins play. Any change of routine, then his mom has to warn him. She makes sure he knows what will happen each morning. His days are planned out from beginning to end. Each starts and ends with his own special friend. Can you spot the special friend? I can. I wonder if you have a special pet at home that you love and care for. Thomas loves Flynn. He is friendly and special. And Flynn loves his Thomas. They cuddle <laughs> and wrestle. That's his special friend, Flynn. Thomas loves Flynn, and his Flynn loves him too. Thomas loves fun and friendship, just like you. <laughs> Thomas loves. I love how we see in this story that there are an awful lot of things that make us the same. It's good just not to be focused on how we're different, isn't it? All right. Until next time. Adios, amigos. Goodbye.